right, so we are uh, getting ready for a Friendsgiving with some of our friends up here in Asheville. And, um, yep. <laughs> um, so we're cooking mashed potatoes, peas. <laughs> Here we are. And baked apples. All of these we grew except for the apples, right? Yeah. So um, that's exciting <laughs> to be able to bring stuff uh, for everyone to eat. And a lot of them, I mean, anytime we get together, it's like, you know, good quality food that most of us raise. So, um, so anyways, um, <coughs> We did uh, hear this morning, we got a message that um, Justin's dad is not doing well. So um, we are kind of waiting around just to make sure that we're still getting together. So, um, but we're preparing like we're going, so. It's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. I She's definitely, she's definitely, she's kind of chilled out. Yeah. I got it this morning. Right here in the barn. They pulled that tarp out of that pile of junk. Yeah. And they had it laid out and they were both laying on it. Pigs on a blanket. <laughs> Hi girls. Hey. <laughs> I think they remember you. <laughs> There's the guy with the feed right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna have to. Um, so we actually did not pull out the video camera, um, nor did anyone else while we were having our Friendsgiving at the Rhodes house last night and it was wonderful <laughs> we were um just enjoying each other's company um we uh it was actually kind of a a hard day um because justin's dad ended up passing away um yesterday but uh we had each other and um that was um comforting i believe for rebecca because she was with us still and um we just love these people so much we just uh love our community um and speaking of community that's something that we get a lot of questions about um or comments about when we do videos about community or posts on instagram or whatever and um my best my best piece of advice we were kind of talking about this yesterday too with our friends my best piece of advice is um to make your own community i mean um you don't have to try to get into already established communities if if you you can find people that live right next to you um if you don't know people next to you go meet people next to you i mean that's the best way like community is not just going to happen to you it takes work it's it's something that you 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 have to um build on and work at and really do life with with other families other people so um, I would just encourage you that if you are struggling because you don't have a community or um, you you get <laughs> kind of heart sick because you see other people having um, you know get togethers or times where they're um, getting to spend time together and and um, work on projects on their farms together and stuff you can have that too like that's not something that's out of your reach like that's something that you need to start if you don't already have something like that in your community uh, another great way um, and I will put a link in our um, our um, description about this but is join the Homesteaders of America community so. <laughs> Join our Homesteaders of America community. Uh, it's a great place to meet other people. People that are like-minded, people that are doing the same kind of things that you want to do. Um, and uh, then you can just reach out to people and be like, you know what, um, you know, I don't really have a lot of people that I know of in Eastern North Carolina or, um, you know, 
southern Kentucky or whatever like wherever you are if you if you just reach out to people and say hey I would like to find other homesteading people that I can work with and be in community with in my area this is where I live then you can find people pretty easily like that. I see those kind of conversations happening all the time in um, the Homesteaders of America community. So I'm going to drop a link in the description for you to check out um, if you would like to join that community. Um, then there's different tiers. You get lots of information with the community. Um, and uh, then also the Homesteaders of America conference that we attend every year you get to actually hear um, with the premium version I believe you actually get to hear each um, of the keynote speakers speeches from all of the years past so and I believe this year's is getting ready to be uploaded this week also so um, so that's exciting because we can't wait to hear those because we actually didn't get to hear anybody speak really this year so we uh, went to say goodbye to our piggies we um, went to go say goodbye to the hollers and we are now almost home um are you ready to get home guys yeah, yeah. i'm ready to see jacob me too me too is everyone just ready to see jacob yeah, yeah. no jacob is our great pyrenees <laughs> if you didn't know that already so um yeah we're ready to get home we're ready to uh see our animals and kind of get back to a routine if that's possible um with a farm and Mama. homeschooling and stuff what um i'm ready to see all the animals in the house and everything yes our neighbors yes yep that would be nice won't it yeah, yeah. i'm gonna see mimi and um poppy and, and papa and everybody yeah and um and I wanted to keep Miss Piggy and Miss Petunia. You wanted to keep Miss mm -hmm. Piggy and Petunia. Well, Miss Piggy and Petunia went to um, a, good a, home. a good home. We can go and visit them. And um, they're going to be in good hands uh, with the Hollers. So, um, so we're excited about that. It is a little bit sad. I was telling them a while ago that the pigs are like kind of they're my favorite of our farm animals besides our dog obviously <laughs> but um but of our and farm the and the cat but of our farm animals those are our favorite or those are my favorite um adam's yeah. always are they your favorite too yeah. adam's always called them my pig so i did feel like kind of sad and um i got kind of teary when we had left them and then i got to see them today and they were in the woods at the hollers and they were already like working the woods and just cleaning up for them and um so i think they're tickled to have them and i'm glad that they are uh, doing a good job for them and um hopefully gonna have some some piggies for them before too long too so all right i want to go to the hollers let's, and they have piggies all right well let's get home <laughs>